What we are witnessing, friends, is nothing unique. But what goes around comes around. That much I believe. Hmm, nothing in here. Just a shovel. How about in here? Ah, ingredients. Wondrous well. Is there uh, an up to this place? Are there only two mages? It did mention in the uh, in the book that the mages guild here was rather small. But perhaps I should uh, find a place to sleep. Hmm. Not going to be much sleeping in here, I think. Surely they have a, a bed for their good friend that they have yet to meet. I do like all these ingredients, yes. I shall put them to fine use. Although, restore fatigue, hmm. Not the greatest thing that I know of. I need this as well. Hmm, Raminus? Raminus is who I need to talk to. Ah, uh, here is an upper. So perhaps we can meet some, uh, some more important members of the guild, hmm? Maybe if I just crawl into bed, they won't mind it so much. Mystery of Talara. Ah. Hello to you. Hmm. Ah. I mustn't. I mustn't. If I must, I should feed on deer. But feeding on a person, especially a nice person, potentially nice person. I don't know if that's a fact or fiction, but in my mind she seems nice enough. Nothing in here for Brandar? Hmm. I rather like slinking around. Unisex skirt. I don't think you understand how skirts work, sir. Hmm. I suppose I shall leave her alone for now. Is there perhaps uh, somewhere that I can get a bit of rest? Maybe get my mind off of my stomach? Hmm. How about here? Yes. Let's just have a short rest, friends. Ah, I had quite a weird dream. I had a blissful feeling of feeling of peace swirling through my brain. Every muscle was relaxed, no tension in any part of me. Completely at ease. My vision came into focus, and I noticed others standing around me. A man leaned towards me, in the robes of a necromancer. I saw a glint of light from his scalpel as it began to cut through my flesh. I should think that uh, it is getting worse, friends. It is getting far worse. Uh, I can only hope that Gene Frasoric has uh, some sort of cure for me. Maybe someone around here can help me with my issues. Hmm. She seems to be the leader. We shall talk to you Hello, first. Hello, associate. If you need anything, just let me know. I would like a date, if that's okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Can you tell me about the Mages Guild, Guild here? who have access to the university can craft their own spells. Not to mention chat with the most important people in the Guild. Well, I have been to the university, although not all the way to the top. Good afternoon. You Lovely to meet you. Indeed. Hello there, you. Well met. And to you. Oh, you recharge things. Yes, I Always like this very much. Always keep your magical equipment charged. Yes, please. Please charge all of this quite a hefty cost I pay, but I think it is worth it. And what spells do you offer, offer, my friend? I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Hmm, lots of conjuring, hmm? Spark. Interesting. Perhaps I could learn a spark spell, hmm? 
Yes, I like that. Not enough magicka to learn most of these other things. They require just a bit more skill. Hmm. A shame that. But perhaps at some point I shall come back to you, my friend. Damage fatigue, yes, quite nice. Come back and see me again. My friend, I have a somewhat personal question to ask you. Well, you've spent enough coins or in a somewhat personal answer, chum. But let's have this more personal conversation in my private quarters, hmm? So, what can I assist you with, my furry friend? You might have noticed the somewhat dead look in my eyes. Far be it for me to judge, as long as you've got a few septums to hand over. <laughs> you and I are more alike than I'd have thought at first, friend. Regardless, I have contracted a somewhat serious case of porific hemophilia. I do believe you mean porphyric hemophilia, yes? No semantics, please. I'm turning into the undead at a terrifying rate, and I require a cure. Well, Master Wizard Braminus Paulus and I have a slightly unusual agreement that I might allow you to become privy to. The only question is, what would you be able to offer in exchange? Is my gold suddenly no good to you? Gold comes and goes, my friends. I want to know who you are. How did the Khajiit end up in Bruma? Quite simple, really. I was bitten by a vampire and headed north to keep myself from falling apart and to possibly find a cure near Skyrim. Vampires must be more prevalent there for that reason. Yes, the undead do love the cold, but heading to Skyrim wouldn't offer any cure for you. Their strain of vampirism is known as Sanguinaire Vampiris, significantly easier to deal with than the porphyric hemophilia that runs rampant here in Cyrodiil. Regardless, your glib answer doesn't satisfy me. No, indeed. Not what I meant, friend. I'd like to hear about your journey, from the beginning, if you please. <sighs> the many details are somewhat inconsequential, and I fear before I reach the current point, my thirst for blood would overwhelm my finer sensibilities. <laughs> I don't fear vampires. That should be made clear. Please, indulge me with at least the abridged version. I suppose my choices are few. I was locked up in elsewhere, summoned to Morrowind by the Emperor to protect him, a mission that I failed at quite spectacularly. After that, pardon me for interrupting, but what did you go to prison for in your homeland? <laughs> I wrote a little song about our main, the king, yes. Come to find out, talking poorly about the king, no matter how poorly he is actually performing, can lead to one being totally ostracized, even from one's friends and family. And what was the song? I don't really care to relive it. If you care for a cure, you'll give it an, a an attempt at least. This is the only thing I'll take as payment. Well, at least that leaves my pockets a bit more full. Alright, it is like so. A man's reign is important to all of his people. But it's hard to know needs sitting on top of a steeple, similar to stuffing a horse through the eye of a needle. All we request is a life that is quiet and peaceful. None of your people requested conflict in Vale and Wood. All we needed was, was what we had, bright sun and good food. What I will say next might sound just slightly rude, but it's time that Brandar, by what is right, stood. Khajiit cannot stand complicit in this grab for power. I'm no fan of Bosmor or the man and myrrh flesh they devour, but it does my heart no good to see a proud race cower. Our actions will turn back on us. You just count the hours. We wanted for nothing. Our lives were carefree. Due to the actions of one, we all may soon need to flee. What we are witnessing, friends, is nothing unique. But what goes around comes around, that much I believe. The man might have been chosen by the hand of the gods, but he's unfit to rule when those he crushes he taunts. The Bosmer clodded and wadded and beaten with rods. Our ancestors are frowning on us. With them we're at odds. The truth is, in Valenwood we should pull our forces out. Our peers look down on our deeds with a frown and a pout. Brandar doesn't like to get political, but please, do not doubt. 
Under this man's reign, we've seen nothing but drought. <laughs> you are quite a wit, Brandar. I'm surprised I haven't heard your name in Cyrodiil before. Well, perhaps if you had traveled a bit further south. Yes, that I would like. But my duties keep me here. It is most unfortunate. Yes, well, now that my song is complete, what of this cure from the Master Wizard? I've been fighting vampires for years. It's the reason that I'm unable to leave my current station. I've been the victim of many a vampire bite, but Ravenous Polis has refined the cure into a simple tincture. One sip of this potion and you'll be right as rain in no time at all. It doesn't contain nuts, does it? I'm actually deathly allergic to nuts. I don't talk about it often. It isn't good to make one weaknesses known. Not to mention, it is sort of embarrassing. I appreciate you sharing another tidbit with me. Not to worry, friend. It's just a pinch of garlic, a dash of blood grass, a sprinkling of nightshade, mixed with the blood of an Argonian. Somewhat rare, as we don't see the lizard folk too often up this way, but good old Ramanus Paulus does have his ways about him, I suppose. Perhaps it's from that Tarmina. I'd rather not know whose blood it is I'm imbibing. Please, just let me partake. As you wish, friend. And once you're cured, what is your plan? I suppose I should continue into Skyrim. The Nords helped me to escape Morrowind, and I've heard the rumblings about some trouble there with the Empire. Interesting. Well, I wish you luck in the journey, friend. Thanks so much for sharing your tale. Is there any advice that you could offer me before I depart? Uh, try not to die, enjoy the potion, and I hope we meet again someday. Thank you so much, friend. You've been quite a help. Take care. Yes, and you as well, my friend. What a great conversation we had. Hmm. Now I'd better just drink this potion somewhere a bit more private. I think this is Volinaro's room. But he is obviously busy with his Alembic. Let's see. Oh, my shirt seems to have come off in my panic. Hmm. Yes. And here it is. Cure for vampirism. Fantastic. Now if I just pop the top... And... Ah! Ugh. Certainly not as uh, delicious as I had hoped. But it will do. I think I am cured. Yes, my eyes. They are less uh, whited out. It gives me a cold feeling inside, unlike the health you potions. Please, share your thoughts. I have, my friend. Has he so quickly forgotten? Perhaps the vampire juice has uh, taken his mind a little bit, hmm? Ah, I'm glad to find the cure. I was worried I would have to head back to the mainland. And heading south and then back north again would simply not do. No, not at all. Although I'm sure Richard would uh, enjoy the time to stretch his legs. I think I should like to lay down just for a little while. My mind still swirls. I think the disease is not gone from me so instantly. But I'm quite glad, yes indeed, that I was able to... To somewhat staunch, staunch this horrible, horrible thing. I was quite close to losing my humanity, the time that I thought of biting many people's necks. Ah, a good thing. Yes, and my legs, they also feel a bit better. One step at a time, I suppose. But now Brandar Hi, needs uh, a rest. Well, mm, have ah, have you seen please, please. Town, I don't care of to course, interact uh, with any of you. Alright. I shall see you in the morning, friends. Hopefully this will be completely gone. I'm not surprised. Oh. She handles her Bye. Pardon Hello. me. Anga, the world. Not you. The other yeah, one. What can I do for you today? Yes, I need uh, to pay for my bet again, I suppose. 
a cheap one, yeah, right, then. as they say. Head up the stairs. It's the first door on your right. Remember, I didn't say it was clean. I said it was cheap. I do remember that, friend. Thank you so much. Even though I have to pay Good 20 journey. gold for a hovel. Ah. But no matter. I did save quite a bit of gold talking to that Valinaro. And again, I shall see you in the morning, friends. What the? Who are you? I seem to know your face, but I can't quite place the name. My, my. Seems like you have forgotten quite a lot about yourself. Please, I have no time for riddles. This is a dangerous place. Branda, you need to remember. Brother? Surely you must be mistaken. I am Kajit. It is not possible. I'm sure you thought seeing the plane of oblivion was impossible, yet here you are. Say I am to believe your spirit. Enlighten me about why you must wander this hellscape. I can go where I please. I am not of this realm and neither are you. Ah, yes, well, very few are able to dwell in the plane of oblivion. We are not talking about oblivion, brother. We are talking about this entire world. That doesn't make any sense. Nor to me. <sighs> Do the dead always speak in such circles? I'm very much alive, as are you, and I need you to come back with me. Forgive my skepticism. I have much work to do. Brother, I beg you, you can't escape the real world. This is the real world. This is my real world. I will fix what is broken. Away with you, spirit. Well enough. My power in this plane fades. But I shall find you again. Soon you will realize the truth. Bye for now, brother. Please. I didn't mean it. I still have so many questions. What a strange dream. Was it a dream? It did feel so real. Ah. I think that my brother is looking for me. The one from elsewhere. Would he follow me so far north? Mm, perhaps not. I do prefer the snow to the rain, although once it melts I shall be just as wet as before. <sighs> but it is no matter. I've got a nice hat. We shall reunite with Richard shortly. And I will head onward to Skyrim to see what adventures await me. Surely my brother will not follow me that far, hmm? Oh, hello. Hello, almost Richard. Do you fare well this morning? I've definitely felt worse, but also felt better. I'm glad to see the vampirism has left me, almost completely. I thirst not for blood any longer, but... This dream from my brother... Quite curious. I'm unsure what to think about it. Hello, Richard. How are you, my boy? Ah... Onward and upward, hmm? I am quite unsure how we will make it through these mountains. But we move forward. That is the answer. Any trouble that we come across, we shall deal with it deftly. As we always have. And uh, now that the vampirism is starting to leave me, my body doesn't feel as cold. I am starting to feel the chill sink into my bones just a little bit. Ah, I'm sure it will only get worse before it gets better. And I'm sure it's still quite a way to Skyrim. No airship this time, huh, Richard? Just my, my trusty boy. I think this is the way up the mountain. I should take care that Richard does not hurt himself on such steep hills. Come now, come now. 
Good boy. Well, friends, I hope to see you in Skyrim. And I hope that the journey will go as uh, easily as I have it planned. But one never does know. Thank you for joining me in Cyrodiil. It means quite a bit. We've been through quite a bit together. And it means a lot. I'll see you on the other side, friends. Until then. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.